So once again, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and it's a pleasure to see you. Now, this analysis or discussion is going to be not long one, but a relatively short one. I want us to have a slight recap on what happened in Nandi County today, where we saw serious leaders gathering to help, um, you know, or to condole with Dr. David Langat, who is a well-renowned man. And of course, they were sending off their mother. All right. And so the deputy president was there representing the president. And the moment I saw Rigadi Gashagwa landing in Nandi, and I also saw Ketu Aruguru, I knew things were to go down. In fact, the aspect that William Ruto did not attend gave us an opportunity to hear some of the real things from the heart, okay, in the political dimension. And it was also very interesting to see the capsulet member of parliament, Oscar Sudi, attending the event. In fact, if you look at the audience and the leaders, uh, the category of leaders, I was seeing that, uh, you know, Sudi was kind of seen to be lonely. So in the rift, if you remember when they were really deconstructing Rigiji, Oscar Sudi was at the very forefront. And he was the one who said that Rigadi Gashago must know that he just came into limelight courtesy of William Ruto and them. And them, he was including himself, Oscar Sudi, that they made Rigiji to even be known in the nation, in the entire nation. But today they met. And interestingly, you know, I saw Ketwaruguru championing for what Rigadi Gashago was to say. In fact, Ketwaruguru cut and raised everything. And I knew something was to go down because she had to mention the thorn in the flesh of Rigadi Gashagwa right now. And she was very much specific. One thing I always love with Ketwa Ruguru that is she always hits the nail on the head. Yeye, who are, she's not mincing a word. All of us, we are experiencing same issues. Whichever county, this Republic of Kenya, Kama Adani Amenda na airport, airport ya JKIA ni yetu, 47 Makabila, 47 counties, hata muzungu na muindi, weka ndani mishra, hata ya ezi enda India. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka kusema, mashida yetu, tuzungumze na viongozi wetu waweze kufanya kazi. Mimi naomba salamu yenu ni kirudi kule kwetu, la ikipia mutanipa salamu zenu. Wiyo rafiki angu rigiji mutashikilia ye. Si unajua hiko watu hapa wanamuangalia wanamdara, unajua ya ni villager, ye eh, ni muti ya kijiji kama njini. Eh, aelewi maneno sana, sasa anachukiwa, anambiwa Nairobi, hii muti ya kijiji, akwenda nyumbani, sisi tuletewe profesa. Profesa ni wetu, na hii rigiji villager ni yetu, sisi maneno yetu kule nyumbani, tutapanga ikae mzuri. Ikikuwa mzuri, tukutane na njini, North Rift, South Rift, ikae mzuri, Kingpin ni moja, anaitua William Ruto. Kingpin ni wetu kule anaitwa Regade Waga Shagua God awabariki sana asante If you look at the way she is supporting Regade Shagua right now in on TikTok you know they are very serious and they are deconstructing the elements that are trying to undermine the deputy president So Ketwa Ruguru sent a warning kind of or a message that needs to be really digested by this the elements in the Rift Valley that are really undermining Riga de Gashagwa. And you also talk of even the way um you know Sudi came to react. You know Sudi was appearing to be a man who was not so much ready for altercations and he was not much ready for the political showdown in that funeral. <laughs> Sisi ni timu moja. Na kama sisi ni timu moja, maneno ikiwa mahali tuitane kwa nyumba. Tuache microphone. Sasa unaona siku hizi mimi nimenyamaza kwa sababu nimeanza kuwa mzee. Eh? Nimeanza kuwa mzee. Ki maneno yengine hii tukae kwa nyumba yetu. Deputy president mmoja, rais ni mmoja, sisi ni watoto yao, mtuite, useme wewe mtoto umekosea hii, huyo mwingine umekosea hii, lakini hii mic hii ndio sumu. Kwa sababu vitu umeongea leo ni mzuri. Vitu uliongea last week ni tofauti. Kitu unaongea mchana, ongea pia usiku. Na yeye ndiye atatupeleka mbele bishop, ama namna nane bishop. Tukue watu tunapendana na tukue watu wa kuongea ukweli. Mambo unaongea usiku pia ongea mchana.
na hii mambo yote itaisha na tutashirikiana tuende mbele and i read it from his mood most of the times sudi is always fiery and when things go to that extent where you are in an event and then you go berserk on him he definitely will go berserk on you but i realized that he had his cool and he composed himself when he was reacting to ketwa ruguru because he spoke after ketwa ruguru you know he kind of tried to balance the way you know is is maintaining is kind of gentility or the gentleness of a man like him that he was trying to portray at that time and so when rigiji was coming finally to speak um i noted also that that rigiji has a big task right now and this task is to always constantly confirm to the people in every event that he attends that he is pro broad based government i am beginning to think that wherever rigiji goes to attend an event or maybe handle uh, an official activity or an event he must not fail to mention that he is in support with the current broad based government na tulikubali wale walikuja tusaidiane let everybody come hii kazi ni mingi hii Kenya ni yetu we are okay let everybody come achangie pale ataweza kila mtu alete ujuzi wake wale wamekuja kutoka ODM wakuje walete akili zao tuongeze na ile yetu tutavute average Kenya isonge mbele si ndio eh hey, hakuna shida sababu so, sasa pale Kenya imefika inataka kila mtu achangie so that nobody is blaming the other you know najua wengine walikuwa nafikiria mimi naweza pinga mimi nipinge nini mimi nasema hii Kenya ni yetu na tunataka ifaulu president kwa maarifa yake kwa ujuzi wake na uongozi wake akaona wacha tulete hawa tusaidiane na hawa nikamwambia rais wakuje tuketi tupange badi yako pale national treasury tusaidiane upio wa ndai yako pale mambo ya stima tusaidiane joho wako pale mambo ya blue economy tusaidiane oparanya akuje mambo ya kahawa mambo ya hasola fan tusaidiane kila mtu achangie so that we all succeed together and if there is a blame we also share si tangu namna hiyo eh so tusaidiane so wakuje hata wale wako nje bado kuja they are welcome wakuje <laughs> tufanye pamoja eh bila tulisema tu mtu asiketi pale mwingine ameke si hiyo tu <laughs> so unajua hata kwa nyumba ukiingia uwezi kalia ile kiti imekaliwa unatafuta ile na ukikuta sote zimekaliwa si unasimama inakuwa mna hiyo bora hakuna mtu ana keti bali mwingine ameketi there is no problem ama wewe sudi wewe ukisikia utaamuka yako mwingine aketi unaamuka ana keti lakini mimi siamuki mimi nimeketi <laughs> ama unataka niamuke <laughs> bas mwezema ni keti kila mtu tufanye there is no problem provided kila mtu alete suluhisho alete maarifa tusaidiane Kenya yetu iende mbele and when you hear him keenly you know when somebody is really so much trying to um, show that he is pro something there could be maybe something that he felt but he is just giving us a picture that we need to see and by the fact that you know there is nothing he can do about it and he must not go against his boss he must just come out to give us that kind of portrayal do you remember the other time when he was saying that um, the president william ruto did not inform him that when these odm members come on board they will not be going for the bigger positions or generally they will not be going for serious portions of the government so maybe by that time you know he was duped in a way and he was angry at that time and right now he's cooling down and the way he's seeing everybody is kind of trying to embrace the conversation there is nothing that can be done about it he must just align with everything otherwise what happened in nande i think the kind of messaging that ketwa ruguru sent to the likes of oscar sudi and rigiji also trying to show people that you know i am pro broad based government these conversations are going to continue strongly so we are looking forward to seeing anyone who is going to betray this kind of small unity that was created at that event so generally i just wanted us to have a small recap on that and let me meet you next have a great time